Gordon Getty has had a passion for music his entire life. He is a man who dares to wear his heart on his sleeve, who doesn't just compose and orchestrate music, he experiences it with every fiber of his being. This is part of what makes Gordon Getty who he is. His works are filled with nostalgia and sentiment, with tales of redemption and transcendence. And yet, there is also a magical pairing of horror and humor. Gordon's wonderful sense of humor. Indeed, Gordon embraces the breadth of the human experience, from its pathos to its playfulness, and channels this totality into his creative works. Not surprisingly, Gordon found a kindred spirit and muse in Emily Dickinson. His songs, based on her poetry, capture her deep emotional truths, her fierce wit, and her love of the world. Of course, love is never hard to find in Gordon's work. In fact, it is part of his defining language as a composer. And for many years now, Gordon's love, his passion for music, has been expressed not just through his compositions, but through his philanthropy. He once said, if you have more money than you need, you have to give it away. It's a duty. I get to choose whom to sponsor, and I like to give to the areas that I know something about. Gordon's financial support has been crucial to hundreds of institutions and organizations, bringing into the world music and performances that might otherwise never have existed. And Gordon has a particular passion for the education and inspiration of future generations of musicians and music lovers. Music, he feels, must be available and accessible to every child. And this belief is at the root of his deep connection with, and commitment to, the Young People's Chorus of New York City. As Gordon has said, music is all about civilization, about something worthwhile. It is all about ideas. So, tonight, we recognize Gordon Getty's immense talent. We honor his many accomplishments and we also appreciate his generosity of spirit in sharing his love of music with so many people in so many ways. Hello, Gordon. I am so delighted that you are being honored tonight. You certainly deserve it. I think the world of you as a musician and as a noble man. Bravo. All that you and Anne do for so many of us is just amazing and we're so, so grateful. And congratulations. I think you deserve every award that is possible. Bravo and congratulations on being honored today, Maestro. And thank you for making the music landscape so rich and beautiful and even more vast than it was before. Truly, the greatness of your music is only exceeded or equaled by the beauty and greatness of your heart and spirit. Congratulations, Maestro, and all my love. I'm playing Agrippina tonight at the Metropolitan Opera, but I wanted to take a moment and I wanted to say congratulations what a joy to help honor you in this wonderful occasion. So thank you so much for inspiring us. We wish you every wonderful thing in the world and let's have a wonderful time tonight. Cheers. My gosh, it's so, so deserved. You've written so much amazing chorus music. There's never been a greater lover of music, someone who has more enthusiasm for it, for your music, but for everyone's music and the way you've made it all work and work and work over these years in the most idealistic way is something that touches all of our hearts. We thank you. Thank you for allowing us to give you the 2020 Legacy Award from the Young People's Chorus of New York City. Singing your music tonight with over 400 young people was a thrill for us. And of course, we're gonna to continue to sing your music all year long as our artists in residence. We're so excited that you're part of our family and we want to say thank you and congratulations.